All right, guys. Second half of Friday Night Fights with King here tonight. Get ready for the next battle. Uh, again, a Steve. Steve is like really good and very good against King. I feel. And now he's Ken. He dressed him up like Ken. Great. Oh god, look at that! A dashboard uppercut, it's so good. Giant combo off there. Oh my god, again, that's a crazy good move, dude. Ah! God damn it. Uppercut is so powerful. Full screen launcher. Can't get out of it. These punches are all gonna stuff everything I do. It's so strong. Punch stuff my launcher. Oh, punch stuff my launcher again. Again, dude, stuffing my moves non-stop. He's literally stuffing my moves non-stop. It's crazy. Why does he have super armor? I don't understand. Why does he have non-stop super armor? I can't, I can't interrupt him. He literally spammed punches endlessly at the end of the round. What was I supposed to do to stop it? The punches just kept coming and they had super armor. What to do there? No clue. No clue at all. Again, super armor. How do I stop that? I don't know how to stop that super armor when he does it. There it is. Just throw out the launcher. Hope for it. Mashing. What are you doing? Ken is following me game to game. Yes, he is. He's stalking me. Come on. Fight. 
I don't know what I don't know how to stop that. There it is. Just wait and spam that launcher. It's so fucking fast from full screen. It punishes everything. There it is. See what I say? Just wait and just spam the launcher. It's so good. That is such a crazy broken fucking move. I don't have a single move like that. What is that super armor move? I didn't do this. I did down and two punches and it gave me super. I didn't even want this. It was a complete accident. I wanted his launcher. I can't block. I'm trying to go low and then mid. I can't do it in time. block it i actually went down back perfectly with that one doesn't block it on the on a fucking reaction it sucks ass all these people with these swinging low hits i can't block them at all it's very frustrating i try and maybe i'll get better in time but i'm trying i see it coming like down back i heard the click i'm in the corner i can feel the corner of the square gate and it fucking still didn't block it <laughs> well i don't know what to do to that man i really don't i don't know what else i could do possibly different Shit. Oh, Jade says, Zafina, Leo, Lars, Elisa, and Dragonos' first game was six. That was the weird one. Like, some of the characters I don't have problems with, but some that are anime-ish I don't really like. Get ready for the next That's just battle. so shitty to lose to that. He just keeps doing the low attack over and over. I can't block it on reaction. Frustrating. Round one. Yeah! Where the nuts? It was like a nut punch. Oh my god!
all of his dashing strikes are super good and good priority and stuff so much. Fight. Oh my god. There it is, the spam dashing strike. Look at the damage. He dashed and pressed the button. Look at the reward the game just gave him for dashing and pressing one button. That was all guaranteed damage reward. Can't stop any of this. Are you kidding? He gets he wins from spamming a button. Oh my god, and I won't block low. Jesus fuck, dude. That guy didn't deserve any of it. He literally spammed, and it fucking gave him juggle after juggle after one spammed lucky hit. That is terrible, man. That is lucky bullshit. Are you kidding me? Get ready for the oh next my battle. fucking god. Outplaying him, destroying him, and then one lucky hit, and it fucking momentum pushes you to the corner. You can't even get out because the fucking character is so spammy. God damn, dude. So bad. Ugh. That is ultimate frustration right there to lose like that. When you know you're outplayed the person, they're just button spam, button spam, button spam. Fuck, man. Like I said, that's such nonsense is that fucking his dash stab, if it hits, you get a giant punish combo, insane damage for it. For what? Because you mashed a button? Fight. Oh, good throw mix up. Very good throw mix up. I tried to roll out of the way, but he tracked with a low attack. Tijuana Twista. Yes, into DDT. Oh, very nice.
Giant swing time. Yes, love it. So good. Stuff. It did so much damage. Awesome. You win. Dude, that dive kick is weird looking. I don't even know like how it hits or what you're supposed to do to it after. Alright. Oh man, good matches tonight for sure. Good good night. Um okay. Here we go. Get ready for the next battle. Use the triple kicks when they are down. Ah, uh, you can, but they don't always hit. Sometimes they only hit twice. You're talking about because I'm using this. I like this because it mixes them up. They think you're not gonna do it because it's slower because they're expecting the triple kicks, and then they get hit by that. But yeah, you, ultimately mixing it up works. The triple kicks are good though. Oh, I know 404 neutral two is great. I've been using it, but it, the problem is you need the get distance to use it. You can't battle. do it close. You have to have good distance. Oh my god, this person has basically. <clears throat> 40 plus thousand more points than me with Nina, and I don't even know how Nina fights in this one, so. Fight. Oh my god, what was that? A counter or a combo throw? I don't even know. I can't get up. I can't get up. She somehow counter hit me to a full combo out in the corner. I can't get out of the fucking corner. None. I don't know what any of this is. I don't know. It all started with that throw move. I don't even know what it was. It fucked me up. Wow, look at that. Completely trying to hit my jab. That's not what I did. I did the throw. Three hit move, maybe you can punish it after, but I gotta be. Oh my god, now she's shooting me. Great. Oh, dude, I can't get out of that. What the fuck is going on? It dropped frames of animation, now I'm dead. Gee, thanks for dropping the frames of animation when I was gonna try to launch. I appreciate that. Fight. Falling for the three hit combo that's apparently a crazy counter hit afterward. I've never seen it, so. What? I was trying to launch. What happened? She just keeps throwing me now. I can't do anything about it. The, after the first kick, there was no way to block the rest of it. It all hit me. Yeah, I don't know how to fight her at all. I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> Again, I think I fought like one Nina online, and none of them even knew any of this stuff, so she's fucking Round me up. One. Fight. Again, the three hits, the third hit. I fall for it every fucking time. Oh, she stuffed my launcher entirely. Did you see that? She stuffed my launcher entirely. I couldn't do anything about it. Wow. That stuck me. 
stuffed again. Every combo she has is a stagger combo. And if you get hit by the second or third hit, it's a giant win for her. She gets a giant juggle. I can't do anything about it. Look, she just gets to keep fucking attacking. Fucking annoying. God damn, that's tricky shit, man. Oh. Round three. Fight. On fight, counter hits me. I can't stop it. Can't break it. I can't break it. She just gets free throw. I can't stop it. See? I can't break it. I don't know. Is that a command throw? Because I don't know what it is and I can't stop it. That interrupted me. Yeah, she mashed fucking her stupid uh it, oh my god, there's a free combo. Can't do anything about it because she doesn't fucking string and has a launcher at the end of it. That's it. She's still attacking. Yeah, I don't know, man. Again, I'm sure there's holes in there, but I don't know what they are. And it seems like all her combos are stagger combos. So she'll do one to two hits and it looks like her combo's over. And then all of a sudden she has a big giant counter hit move that ends the combo. And if you fall for it, that's it. She gets a free combo that pushes you to the corner and now you can't get out of the corner. Like, damn. So her, her whole build is based on stagger. Like, the stagger combo. Damn. First time I've ever seen a Get Anina, so... The next battle. Getting fucked up by all this. Now, Claudio, we know he has the one quick launcher kick, and he has the one quick dash punch. Those are his two best moves we know from fighting Claudios before, right? Round one. Fight. He walked right into it. Yeah. Round three. Fight. He broke my command throw. Round four. Fight. What the fuck? That's spam right there. I want it. He just didn't block low at all. Wow. You win. That's the freaking heat spam. That heat move spam. Just throw it out there. Super armor through everything. And he quit after the one match. Wow. Get ready for the next battle. Claudio's Superman punch is duckable. Is it? What is it? What is his the Superman punch? Is it a dashing move? I don't even know what it is, but people do it and catch me all the time. I know you're saying it's duckable, but like, I need to see it. And it just hits me instantly, so I don't know when it's coming out. And that's the problem. I love this song. Isn't this the remix version of the original? I think the original was from Tekken 5. And this is the remix version. Love this song. Okay. 
Get ready for the next battle. Oh boy, I'm fucked. This Lily, she locks you down with so many hits that seem so safe. Round one. Fight. Got her, she wanna twist her. That move is so good, that flip kick. It's such a good leader. Oh wow, really? Not what I wanted, of course. Not at all. I wanted my ju my juggle. That's a wrong kick. Round three. Fight. What? Launcher on fight? Oh come on. Ugh. Or spam. Spam again! I didn't even do anything! How'd I get hit? What the fuck? I don't know. She hit low and it went to a full combo after the low sweep. Fight. I don't know why that's hitting. Don't know why that hit. Do you want a twister? Get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> oh, of course she sidestepped with this uh, long time. Look at this! Continues with reward. Come on, she spam. Oh, spam again. Oh, more spam. Still spamming. She literally did nothing but spam buttons, and there's nothing I can do about it. Completely, completely outmatched. Because her fucking moves are all high-low mix-ups, which I don't know. So she could just spam hit string, hit string, hit string. I don't know what to do to get out of it. So it's free damage for her. Free hits, free damage. Un un unearned battle. is button pushing. Dur, dur, dur. It's it's the Eddie Gordo syndrome. It's exactly what it is. There's certain characters, they're like that. It's just Eddie Gordo. Mash mash the kicks. Do this combo, do this combo, do this combo. It's all high-low mix-up. Because I don't know it. I just have to eat it all. Like, come on, man. There's no openings. No, she just keeps doing it. She instantly recovers and keeps mashing kicks more. Fucking annoying. Man. It's so bad. It's very frustrating to play players like that. Like, as soon as I saw Lily, I was like, that's it. As soon as Lily's out here, she gets away with so much free shit without having to time it. Just mash buttons with the kicks and get the fucking mix-up combo, mix-up combo, mix-up combo. What the fuck, man? So now I gotta study the game for 400 hours in order to figure out how to stop her. And that's true. I have to sit there and study Lily matchup knowledge to fucking stop those because I don't know how to stop them. They're all Isla mix-ups. Guitar player, thanks for the super chat. I don't know if I'm going to play Persona 3 Reload at all. I don't know if anyone's getting copyright claims for it. I've had tons of issues with Atlas, so it's the last thing on my mind. I'm glad to hear that you're enjoying Persona 3, though. I would say no. If I'm going to do anything this summer, I'll do something that I want to do more than that. I mean, I've already played Persona 3. I don't really have a desire to really replay it either, uh, at this point. I'd like to do something maybe I want to do that I haven't done in a million years or an RPG I've never played, right? Plus, I'm all RPG'd out. I mean, I'm doing Baldur's Gate. I'm doing fucking Like a Dragon. Then we got Final Fantasy VII, you know, uh, what is it, Rebirth? It's like, dude, at some point, I gotta stop playing nonstop RPGs, right? Like, there's too many of them. Too many fucking RPGs now.
I can always get it facing left. I have difficulties getting this facing right, and I don't know why. For some reason, I can't find any opponents now. That's great. I didn't want that. I got it this time. Okay. I'm not getting any opponents now. I think it broke. No, I don't have a preferred football team. I don't play them. I don't watch it. I mean... Yeah, I'm gonna have to quit out. It's not finding anyone. It must be glitched. We still got a ways to go tonight. I'm not gonna quit now. So I gotta get the matchmaking working again. Ugh. Oh, it's like in the world of non-stop fucking RPGs. It's insane. Why are there so many RPGs out right now? <laughs> it's out of control. Too many RPGs in one year is just overload, man. So much of the same kind of game. And I love RPGs, but even I have to admit, it's just too much. It's too much of the same shit overload. I hear you, Slayer. I don't even know when we're doing it. I don't. I. I didn't. We didn't sort out any order tomorrow of what we're doing. I don't know when I'm playing like a dragon. I don't know when we're doing uh, the Super Bowl sim. I don't know when we might do multiplayer. It's all kind of going to be random and played by ear. How people want it as we play live and see what people want. You know, as they they ask for stuff or we do polls during the the marathon. So. <clears throat> I do like the Tekken 3 outfit, though, right? <laughs> the Tekken 3 King. It's an updated version, but that's definitely his old Tekken 3 outfit. They tried to update it. Get ready for the next battle. All right, let's try again. No, Jade, I don't know if or when we're ever doing character episodes in this. I don't think people want it, sadly. Not to say I wouldn't be interested in it. I just don't think people want single-player content. Like... Did the story, people didn't really care. Did the arcade uh, mode, people didn't really care. <laughs> I don't think people really care. Get ready for As it is, we're only battle. playing this twice a week, you know? <clears throat> Round one. Fight. <laughs> in the corner. Very nice. See, I have to learn that combo and not get hit by the last hit. It seems to be a free juggle if hit it.
don't know how to stop that kick combo. He just does it non-stop. I can't stop it at all. I can't punish it after either. It seems like it's completely safe. So why does he get to spam it the whole round? How do I stop that stupid combo? Round four. Fight. <laughs> I want it. You want a twister? Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Boom. Hope is back. No rematch. Of course not. I beat the kick spam. He couldn't take it. He quits out. Of course. Uh, I re received a $5 tip from Big Papa Phil. I remember getting my first exposure to Tekken in 1995 from a PlayStation demo CD. I had one too. They had a Tekken 1 demo and the 3D graphics at the time were mind-blowing. I played it in arcades before I ever saw it on the PlayStation. But it was actually like impressive for PlayStation at the time. Of course, the graphics were actually atrocious. But at PlayStation, that was actually really good at the time for a game on there so yeah i remember it blew me away too battle. demo discs were huge back then because usually demo disc only had like two or three characters so you're like oh i want to buy the whole game it has like 10 12 characters right <laughs> yeah while running is a million kicks it's like i don't know how to stop him i couldn't punish that fucking thing i really couldn't he just got away with non-stop kick, 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 kick. Great. Not able to find a battle, you found me a shitty battle. are all they're not gonna be great i know it <laughs> i know they're not gonna be great get ready for the next battle. another victor again victor character can just kind of spam these really high priority counter hit moves it gets a giant combo every time he does it's very frustrating Round when he gets those one. rewards Fight. <laughs> Look at this. We traded. He gets the combo. Why? He was spamming a button. He gets so rewarded for spam, this character. It really frustrates me. Spam for you. Round four. Fight. The perfect finish. <clears throat> How awesome was that? The perfect finish. 
<coughs> Very good. J'espère que tu n'es pas round one. Fight. Nope, just mashing. He's just mashing. On a twister. <laughs> he kept rolling away from the wall. Whiff exactly. Whatever. Congrats on that button. Not lucky. Congrats on button mashing. Oh, he mashed again. He literally did it twice in a row. He did it three times in a row. He just keeps mashing that fucking uppercut now. What? Okay. Oh, now I can't do anything. And don't block low twice. Good job. Only one around on me because he kept spamming the incredibly overpowered launcher, which is super overpowered. That launcher goes like full screen, and you get a giant battle. combo after. It's so easy to do, too. <clears throat> yeah, the, the good thing with King is the mix up. Because remember, when you're running at them, you have two options throw, which is the shining wizard, which is super good, or low kick. If they block low, right? Now, you can mix them up with an overhead, which is this. So you have three options, essentially, when you're running at them. And everyone falls for one or the other. Like, sometimes they'll say, oh, shit, he's going to kick low. And they'll just try to block low. Then you can do the running Shining Wizard. They'll say, oh, he's going to block. He's going to attack high. And then you do the low kick. So it is a high-low mix-up when you're running at them with King. It's a really good high-low mix-up. You even got this, too. Oh, I couldn't do it. If you run full speed and you hit right kick, he does the triple kicks without even having to do the down input. <clears throat> it's an auto triple down kicks. Get ready for oh the next no! Round. As you guys know, Lars possesses one or two combos and moves that I don't know how to stop. That stupid floaty kick one. really pisses me off. Fight. Immediately into the Tijuana Twister. Here we go with the jabs. Oh, look at this giant combo off the national jab. It in one random spam lug juggle. Here it comes. I just I do a one spam move. Here's my reward, right? He's 
still spamming. Ridiculous the amount of button spam there. Your lag. Why did that whiff? My knee went through his body. See you want a twister. Insane lag. It's supposed to be a five bar wireless connection. Insane fucking lag playing. <laughs> Incredible amounts of lag. Of course he'll want a rematch because of the lag. He'll love a rematch, right? I told you, because because of the lag, oh I gotta rematch that. <laughs> Never get rematches on non-laggy matches though. Round one. Fight. That with now he's just doing high load spam mix up. He didn't even want to hit me with that. He's guessing. What the fuck? I can't get up. I couldn't get up at all. It would not allow me to get up. It's fucking lag again. Look at this crazy lag spikes. So he can just max punch it. I can't do anything. The lag spikes is I can't do anything. Jesus Christ, dude. Look at how much health I lost in mashing punch. Look at his lag! Oh my god! Mash punch! Mash punch and lag! I can't do anything! He's just mashing! He sees the lag when I hit the wall, and he mashes buttons. What a fucking scrub. What the fuck, man? Yes, mash again. Fucking shitty ass internet. Now his jabs beat everything I do, yep. He's just jab. Look. Fucking ridiculous how much he's getting away with. He's not earning any hits. Look at the lag! Again! Again! I can't do anything! What the fuck just happened? What happened? I'm in the middle of a kick. The kick doesn't come out and he gets a fucking spam throw. Fuck this laggy dude. Dude, he sucks. He literally did nothing. He didn't even know what he was doing. All he did was spam fucking laggy punch with his idi idiotic fucking bad internet connection. He fucking sucks ass. You didn't earn a single fucking hit against me, you laggy moron. You really fucking suck, dude. Good. Don't fucking accept the rematch. You fucking suck. Next battle. Guy sucks ass, man. Literally nothing you can do. He's just all of a sudden the game's chopping up. You can't react to anything. Just punch, 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 kick, punch, punch, kick, punch, punch, kick. What the fuck? I can't even see the attacks. How the fuck am I supposed to defend against that? Get ready for the Trash players, battle. man. Trash players mashing with their fucking shit internet and get away with it, and it fucking frustrates the shit out of me. Round one. Fight. That was coming. I knew it. I knew I was gonna be able to block it. Oh. Round two. Fight.
Do you want a twister? He broke it. Damn it. That's gonna hurt. That might be game. I think that. Oh, okay. I didn't get my throw though. But then I got this anyway. I didn't get my running throw. It would have been game, I think. <clears throat> uh. See, I didn't know that. Seth says sidestepping literally counters half of Lars' move. I don't know that. If I know that, I would have done it. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Twist of time. Of course, that's what I wanted. Oh, here we go, mashing. I did, but that's the throw I did. Kings have some pretty good mix up on like on wake up when they're getting up sometimes they can do the run and on when they they're running you have all these options you have the launcher you have like, a low kick a mid kick and the throw and I always forget to do it because I forget he has it so when they're on the ground right in front of me I totally should be doing this and then mixing up and I totally forget about it all the time oh, excuse me Asuka. Asuka's pretty good, I remember, but I haven't really fought a good one, so I don't know what she has in this one. Round one. Fight. Right to the T on a twister. Right to the T on a twister again. Oh, launch me. Wow. What happened? I didn't want that. Oh my god. I don't know what he was doing. I wanted a low kick and he did something else and I blew the round for him. Fight. Again. Very frustrating. I'm missing my moves. Round three. Fight. Nice counter hit. Giant swing. You want to twister to finish the round. Boom! Round four. Fight.
got her. Bonk. I knew she was gonna go for it. Broken. Broken. Cracked. Cracked the back. <laughs> Cracked. Try to block it. No, I even blocked it. I couldn't do a, a good enough punish. Fight. Sucks. No, it didn't work. Yep, knew she was gonna block. Sucks, I had the throw and everything, and if that would have been game, but I guess I fucked up the timing, because I wanted to get the rolling death cradle to read it. I couldn't get it. Damn it! I got one rolling death cradle tonight. It's the first one I landed in the whole game. But man, I would have liked to finish the game like that because that does 60% damage. <clears throat> Jade, what did you watch that I did with One Piece 11 years ago? That random game I played like that long ago? Hmm. I remember only playing one One Piece game ages and ages ago, right? Ah, see? Didn't get it. Oh, can't get it. Can't get the command throw. Tommy Salami, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Get ready for the next None. battle. Another Azucena. These Azucenas are tricky. Whoa, no! Ah, I fell for Wake Up Super. I didn't even notice. I didn't even fucking notice that she had it. Close. I didn't even notice.
I tried down forward two, it didn't give it to me. I couldn't punish properly. Fight. Oh my god, the throws! I don't know what to do there. I was just hit stun. Or block stun. What is that dash move she's doing? What the fuck? I don't know what's going on. All her moves are giant giant wave moves. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god! I don't know what to do, what the fuck? Oh my god, mash a button. Look, she's mashing three times in a fucking row and it all hit. Blah. Thank God she fucking mashed super like a scrub. Oh my God. Three times in a row she did that fucking flippy kick. Like what the fuck, dude? Three times in a row? And it all comboed into itself three times, like. And by the way, quit out after losing too. What a great player. Oh. All right. We got a few more in me, guys. Probably one or two more sets before we call it a night. Uh, close tonight. I've won more than I've lost, but man, it was close to some of these matches. Again, it's all about character knowledge. And unlike Street Fighter, I don't really know a lot of these characters, so uh, it's hard. It's hard losing to stuff. Like, for example, uh, losing to to freaking Lee earlier tonight was a hard one. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Losing to a Lars who's just smashing buttons and lag. I'm like, come on. You know? I know that there's ways around that stuff. I just don't know it yet. You know, I need to learn it. Get ready for the next battle. One Piece Pirate Warriors was what it was? Jeez. Yeah, it was the only One Piece game I ever played, right? Happy Lunar New Year to you, Vietnamese comrade. Oh, I totally forgot about this. You can hit and wait and then do it on the block. I fucking completely forgot. I mean, no one's gonna fall for that, but still. Just another move to do, right? That's right, I was playing Pi Pirate Warriors during Game Pass battle. tonight, but I stopped playing it. <laughs> oh no, Lars! Fucking Lars! Oh no! Spam those moves, Lars. Spam them. Round two. Fight. Here we go. Spam the punches. Somehow hit me. Keep spamming. One Hail Mary flip kick and destroy me. Fight. Dash again. He's still spamming. Literally just button spam non fucking stop, dude. Why does Lars get to button spam? It fucking sucks. He's not fucking good. I'm tired of this shit. I didn't jump. I didn't try that. Button spam. Button spam.
He's gonna win. No, I interrupted him. Killed him. I don't know what to do to the button spam. It interrupts everything I do, and I can't punish any of those moves he's doing. I can't punish them. So he gets away with spamming it the whole round. See, I can't punish anything. Neutral punch, but I don't know. No, serious. He gets to spam those. Moves. I don't know how to punish any of them at all. I can't fucking interrupt. Him. It's, or not interrupt him. Stop him from spamming. He just gets away with those spam combos. I can't do anything after them. He just keeps getting to do it. Uh, am I not fast enough? Fight. Look at that, it just interrupted my launcher. Again, he's interrupting. Mass super. Don't know what to do. He gets away with everything. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know how to stop it. It's just non-stop attacks that I can't punish after like they're all safe Fight. that should not be the case but it seems like it is the case there you go spam the launcher look at that spam the juggle What the fuck again? Oh my god. Yo, he does it every time. Block. Finally. A punish. Locked him down. <laughs> Round four. Fight. Got him. He's just mashing buttons right now. Giant swing, gets out. That was a button mash. That was literally a button mash. <clears throat> didn't do that, I didn't do that. I was going for a command throw. That's it, mash, mash kicks now. Look at all this reward for mashing. Why, what did that hit me for? I didn't even attack. I didn't fucking attack. Jesus Christ, man. You almost won by mashing buttons. Just outright mashing buttons. Jeez, man. It's fucking crazy. But, like I said, it just seems like more increasing more and more. They turn the game into... Characters all have this crazy... 
very powerful thing just by doing oh rise press two buttons mash two kicks over and over get a high low mix up like oh my god yeesh I did not forget about One Piece Odyssey. I said I, d I didn't remember playing much One Piece over the years. I remember there was one ages ago. And I know that I played the One Piece game last year, of course. The whole RPG. It was very lengthy. I never said I didn't play that. <clears throat> Get ready for okay. the next battle. Another Azucena. Wow, it's like Azucena night tonight. Holy crap, man. The Azucena marathon. <clears throat> Gee, I know what some people bought the game for. Round one. Take that shit. Person's interrupted mine. Person's interrupted mine again. Wow. Come on. <clears throat> That's ridiculous. That late? She activated it that late and it fucking punished it that fucking late. Jeez, man. That's nonsense. Round three. Fight. That interrupted my my fucking uh, combo. All smashing. She wasn't trying to hit me with those kids. She was smashing buttons. Unbelievable. Unbelievable mashing. Mix up me. I love this song too. Some of these second songs I love. Very nice. <clears throat> Thank you, Big Papa Phil. Jade, have a good night. I'm out of here after this one, probably. Fight.
Tijuana Twister finish. Ah, break the body, baby. It hit stun or block stun couldn't do anything there. <laughs> fell for it again. Always fell for the shining wizard every time I did it. <clears throat> What's funny is I'm winning way more than I'm losing, and I'm going up in the rankings with King, but if you haven't noticed, I'm not earning any points. It keeps saying, like, I'm not getting any ranking points. I'm still at 87k, right? Is that because I'm switching between characters? Like, I don't really understand how it works. My king ranking is increasing. I've increased several rankings with king tonight, right? But I haven't overall raised my ranking points in ranked. I don't know how it works in Tekken. It seems weird the way that it works. <clears throat> like, let's go back to the main menu and look. I don't, I don't get it. Like, I started at 87. And at the end of the night, I'm still at 87, right? And I won more than I lost. So how does it work? <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. <clears throat> right? I just don't understand. Does anyone know how this, this ranking system works in Tekken? Ranking points aren't really tied to online play. That's why it should be ignored. What? They're What? How are ranking points not tied to online play? If that's the case, then how... Why is it that the pro players whose matches I'm watching all have tons of online po have are these ranking points? Like they have tons of them. <clears throat> I don't know. How do I even see my ranking? Right? Like how would I see like leaderboard? Can I see myself on the leaderboard here? I don't even know how this works. Yeah, me, I'm in the bottom of the bottom, right? The top person is number one Watanabe fan. That's the number one person, huh? I'm not even ranked. This is none. 91,000. Like, look at their score. I'm at 91,000. These people have 354,000 points. How'd they even do that? <laughs> right? <clears throat> I'm so confused. Rank points? I don't even understand this. So this is rank points per character, correct? Rank match wins. Jesus, I have 69 ranked match wins. This person has 3,307 wins. Oh my God. Big Papa Phil says, prowess is calculated through a combination of number of variables. The player's highest owned rank, their total rank of character, their play stat, the number of matches played, and other things. So I I will never know how to rank up in this game because every night I win I win I win then I lose a bunch but I think overall someone was counting and they said I had like 26 wins and like 19 18 losses I still won more than I lost but I have no idea like I can't even see where I am ranked with others I'm so confused <laughs> I don't get this game at all I still listen I still like it I'm having fun with it again I, what am I really getting beat by? by people who are getting away with spammable things that I don't know how to stop them. Once I start remembering these high-low mix-ups and I know how to block them and punish, that's another thing, like Lars, I can't figure out how to punish the guy at all. So he gets away with so much button spam and I can't really stop it. He just does it again, does it again, does it again. Like, when do I interrupt? You know, with other kids, like June has a fast punish. Paul kind of has a fast punish. I don't think King really does besides one, two. That's it. Left punch, right punch. I, I don't really know what else to do. So, a lot of the top of the leaderboard are cheating to get there. If you play Ghost, you can tell who is legit and who is cheesing. Oh, yeah. Wow. 
All right. Well, good night tonight. I had fun. Thanks to those who supported the stream and hung out with me. I feel like I'm getting better, right? I feel like I am progressively getting better uh, with each character. You know, Yoon, excuse me, June, Paul, and King. Now, the question is, should I start with somebody new when I play this again on Monday? Maybe I should. Maybe I should pick up fourth and actually give a shot at a fourth character and see how it goes. Um, but who? If you're watching this video on demand, please leave comments and let me know. I've had people all over the place. They're like, you know, Kuma, Jack, <clears throat> um, Dragona. Um, of course, people say Elisa. I hate Elisa. I don't, I'm never going to use her. I don't like that character build. So we would chainsaws and shit, right? Um, Kazuya or Jin. A lot of people say Jin is like a basic character with high-low mix-ups. So you'll learn a lot about the mix-up game if you use him, right? So I'm getting a lot of different opinions i'd like to get yours if you're watching this on demand please leave a comment on the video and say hey i want to see you use this character likely when i play on monday since it's a longer stream i probably will try a new character okay but what i'm thinking of is maybe you just stick to four like just stick, pick one more character and then alternate between those four and try to get good with each one there's no way i'm gonna get better at the game if i keep swapping so all right guys thank you had a great session see you next time awesome